This unit will include our natural resources. Before we get started, we need to divide our natural resources into two categories, either renewable or non-renewable. A renewable resource is one that can be replaced or regrown as fast as they are used. A non-renewable resource cannot be replaced as quickly as it is used up. So for example, a renewable one, you can bamboo grows really fast. It can be replaced as fast as it's used. However, coal takes a long, 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 long time to develop, so it cannot be replaced as quickly as it's used up. Three types of non-renewable resources we talk about are minerals, gravel, and fossil fuels. And believe it or not, gravel is a huge non-renewable resource. It's used worldwide in all sorts of things like construction and just everyday use. However, we're going to focus on the fossil fuels. So fossil fuels are formed from the remains of plants and animals. They are used to give us energy, and there's three types that we're going to talk about, coal, oil, and natural gas. Coal is formed from plants. Remember, decomposing plant material, and right, it is a sedimentary rock. Okay, it is our most commonly used fossil fuel, and there are actually four stages in the development of coal. Alright, so the first stage of coal is called peat. So just like peat, alright, uh, it's buried plant materials decay to form peat. Alright, and then we get some compaction, alright, that forms lignite coal. So this is our next degraded kind of form of coal, and then we get some more compression. So notice we're still sedimentary here, but now we have bituminous coal. And finally, once it's down far, far enough and we have heat and pressure applied to it, that'll give us a metamorphic rock, and the metamorphic form of coal is called anthracite. And the anthracite is actually the most efficient form of coal that there is, but of course it also takes the longest to form. We get coal by mining for it, either by strip mining or subsurface mining. Okay, and we all know that there has been mine collapses, there's black lung disease, there's fires. Coal mining is, is a very dangerous thing to do. Another way that we get coal is mountaintop mining. So what you see here actually used to be a mountaintop, and they just take dynamite and psh, blow it off so they have easy access to the coal. So they get to save some money because they're paying less people and the coal is easier to access. However, it does cause really, really bad effects to the environment surrounding any of this mountaintop removal. Here's a diagram that shows you how we get electricity from coal. So here we go, here we have our coal, it goes into this plant here, right? We burn it up and inside here we have water. Once it burns, it turns this water to steam. Right, this steam turns a turbine, and the turbine generates electricity. And you'll notice this is a very similar way that we do a lot of things. Petroleum and natural gas are formed from remains of animals. So they are made of methane, carbon and hydrogen. And they're also formed in sedimentary rocks. Okay, so you see here is where we would get our natural gas and oil. So that's where we would mine for it. However, it can harm the environment by an actual oil spill, fire, or the land could collapse. Oil spills can occur from leaky pipelines or when they're transporting the oil. And we all remember the Gulf of Mexico oil spill and how that had detrimental effects on the plants and animals that live around the area and even up the coast a little bit more. Here's where you need your chart for your resources. So some advantages of using fossil fuels. It's cheap and efficient, all right? It's easily transported by way of train, and it can be stored relatively easy. Disadvantages, first and foremost, right? The damage to the environment, it has all sorts of negative effects, acid mine, drainage, soil erosion, toxins. It can destroy habitats. It can cause acid rain. And then we know that the burning of these fossil fuels contributes to global warming. All right, on a positive note, we have some renewable resources, including solar, wind, water, and biomass. All right, and then we have alternative sources of energy that are not considered renewable. We have geothermal and nuclear alternative. 
So first and foremost, solar. You see solar comes from the sun used to make electricity. So here we have all these solar panels collecting sunlight to make electricity. And here's how it works. So we have incoming solar radiation that generates an electric current, goes into a little battery, and then we have power. I'm not going to list off all these, but you should write down at least three advantages and three disadvantages. So we know it's free, produces no pollution, can supply energy to sunny remote areas. Hey, it can be stored. That's really good. All right, disadvantages. It is unreliable unless you're in a place very sunny, and it is expensive and doesn't work at night. Water power. We have two types. We have hydroelectric and tidal. And tidal power only works when there is a big difference between high tide and low tide. All right, so the hydroelectric dam. As you see here, water comes in. <gasps> Look, it's a turbine. It turns a turbine to generate electricity to create power. Woo, turbine. Cool thing about hydroelectric, it is the most efficient. Water's free, no waste or pollution. However, dams are very expensive. Not everyone can live near a stream or a river, and it will cause flooding of habitats and also prevent some animals that migrate upstream from actually doing that. Wind power. So, again, we're going to be seeing a turbine, right, to produce electricity. So the wind will turn the turbine to produce the electricity for us. Some advantages. Wind is free. There's no waste or greenhouse gases. Um, it's really good for wind farms near the coast. Uh, because there's always a breeze coming in from the coast. Disadvantages, they can be noisy, there's no good method to store it, and hey, guess what, it can actually kill birds. Biomass is where we have organic matter burned to produce energy. All right, it's used to generate power and electricity and to produce fuel alternatives like biodiesel or ethanol. So, however, it does produce some pollution and ashes. Some of the types of biomass that we use are wood used in the home, garbage, actually they burn trash to turn waste into a usable form of energy. So corn and other alcohol fuels are used for biodiesel. And then landfill gas or methane is used to generate electricity or to provide us with heat. Geothermal, this is an alternative source of energy, not a renewable source. So geo means earth, therm means heat. So guess what? We're using the heat from the earth all right, to produce energy. All right, so here's how it happens. Water goes down into a pipe that goes into the earth to get heated up, okay? And then the heated water comes back up. <gasps> we have some heat exchange taking place, and then guess what? We have another turbine that's going to generate electricity for us. I know, big shocker there that we have another turbine. All right, some advantages. There's no pollution. There's no fuel needed. There's no greenhouse gases being created. However, they can only um, be built in some places. Also, hazardous gases and minerals can come up from the underground, and they can con con contaminate groundwater. All right, nuclear energy, another alternative source. Not renewable, just alternative. So here we have the energy from fission of radioactive isotopes making electricity. This is a non-renewable resource and there is radioactive waste that is very dangerous. Alright, so here's how it works. They split uranium, uranium atoms in a process known as fission and when that split happens it creates lots and lots of heat Okay, look, heat, and here we have some water to get some steam. Steam turns a turbine to generate electricity. Oh my gosh, it's another turbine. So crazy. Resources that can be found in Virginia uh, of the renewable kind, you can find hydroelectric. Uh, we have some vegetation. We use wood, plants, things like that, animals, solar, and wind. Some non-renewable resources in Virginia are coal. Coal's a big one over towards the other side of the state, limestone, crushed stone, and gravel. 
Now, hopefully everybody is familiar with the three R's in conserving resources, right? Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce meaning to use less. Reuse meaning to buy things you can use again and again. And recycle is sending them to the recycling center instead of throwing them in the trash.